In today's video, I'm going to show you new features that came to the popular note-taking app GoodNotes 5 since the release of iOS 14 from Apple. If you're new to GoodNotes on the iPad, I have a full walkthrough and tutorial of this app that shows you all the ins and outs and features to get started with digital note-taking or digital planning. So be sure to check out that video after you watch this one. And don't forget to like this video for the algorithm and subscribe for more iPad and digital note-taking and planning content. One new feature that came to GoodNotes 5 is more ways to customize the pen tool. This update is great for those who want to get more involved in calligraphy or hand lettering within the GoodNotes app. For the fountain pen, you can customize the sharpness of the pen tip as well as pressure sensitivity, while with the brush pen, you can customize the sensitivity. Of course, since the ball pen is a mono weight or mono line style, there aren't ways to customize this pen further. With this new feature implemented into the app, you can really customize these pens to get that perfect look you're going for or as a way to improve your digital handwriting. My favorite feature that has been implemented since my last GoodNotes video is the draw and hold feature to auto perfect lines and shapes. If you have used Procreate before, this is essentially the same feature. Instead of having to click the shape tool to auto perfect shapes like previously, you can just draw and hold down on the screen. You can also edit the anchor points of shapes, which is such a great feature to have in a note-taking app, especially if you're a student who needs to draw a lot of graphs or shapes for classes. Personally, I'm a chemistry major who has to draw a lot of hexagons and straight lines and molecules and graphs, so I absolutely love using this feature. And of course, you can still use the fill color options with this feature and the shape tool if you prefer that route. Overall, with this update, there is better shape recognition, so this app recognizes popular trend lines like parabolas and exponentials as well. Another interesting addition to this app in the last few months has been document collaboration. While I haven't used this feature myself, it has the potential of being a key feature for online students who have that ability to collaborate on note taking. And it might be useful for project and team planning if you still yearn for handwriting and mind mapping all of your ideas with your team members. Like most other apps and document sharing websites, you just send a link to your team or project members to collaborate in GoodNotes with you. Of course, with Apple's implementation of Scribble on iPad OS 14, GoodNotes also took advantage of Scribble's features in their note-taking app. Now, when you are using the text box, you can actually write anywhere on the screen, not even within the box, and it will convert it to text. One frustrating thing about Scribble though in GoodNotes is that once you are using Scribble in the app, it kind of destroys your Apple Pencil's ability to drag and move that text box around. You do have to use your finger or lasso tool if you want to do this. If you're used to using your Apple Pencil for this, you'll likely find this a little frustrating, but I'm finding that I run into this issue with other third-party apps as well. The last new feature I wanted to discuss was the flashcard tool in GoodNotes, which I find super unique, and something I know I'll be using a ton to study for my EMT certification test. So you start by creating a new notebook or adding a new page template to a notebook that you already have created. You want to make sure that you have the GoodNotes paper options selected. Currently, flashcards is only available for this page style, so you won't be able to use A4 or letter or any other page style. You'll then scroll to the far right under the Essentials category and select Flashcards. The page is split by Question and Answer, where you write your question at the top half of the page and your answer at the bottom half. You can then study these flashcards by clicking the three dots in the right-hand corner and selecting the Study Flashcard button. Much like Anki and other digital flashcard apps, GoodNotes uses spaced repetition to help you memorize and study the cards. It also keeps track of your study stats. So not only are you writing down your flashcards by hand, but you can also study them digitally, which I find to be a huge advantage when it comes to memorization and active recall as a student. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what features you'd love to see implemented in future GoodNotes updates. I'd love to hear what you think can be done to make this note-taking app even better. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye!